from Paramount Pictures. It's the Tom Likas Show. Why don't you have the balls to stand up to me? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Appreciate your patronage. We do. Oh, I don't know if I want to talk about that. Look, at something that I pulled earlier. A uh, photograph of a T-shirt. I don't know. I don't know what the question is. It's good, but I don't know what the question is. I have to continue to get myself all fired up about it. It pissed me off when I saw it. But, uh, oh, God. I, I think I'll save it. Let me go to this email here instead. This is a listener named Matt. Matt lives in the San Fernando Valley, and uh, Matt writes in and says, My girlfriend and I broke up last month. Two weeks later, she dated a guy, and the second night had, and he puts in caps, sex with him. And in caps, twice. She then found out he was cheating on his girlfriend back in Delaware. So she comes back to me and lies that she didn't sleep with him. Which I found out later she did. Unprotected. And then came back and slept with me. Unprotected. Without telling me putting me at risk for STDs. Why would you think that slutty girlfriend of yours uh, would not sleep with somebody else? Why wouldn't you uh, man up and, uh, uh, you know, put a condom on? Stupid idiot. Got what you deserve, pal. Hurts when you pee. Ouch. Meanwhile, in animosity, I... Slept with someone else to level the playing field. <laughs> oh, God. I am so glad I'm not in a relationship. I am so glad I am beyond all of this petty nonsense you go through in a relationship. He said, we fight like crazy, but we're back together and love each other. And are trying to make it work. But I feel like the interest she had in me before is, he puts it in capital letters, not as much as it was. I'd like to find out what junior high school Matt goes to. Matt says, one, how can I get my balls back and, 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 he put two ands in there, and, and, get her to worship the ground I walk on again. Oh, jeez. Oh, son. You are pathetic. Two, he says, can this ever pan out to be a lifelong relationship? Or, once you go and screw other people, is it too late to come back? Help! Sign Matt. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to do here? Wait a second. I know he's online right now. Let me send a... Dean, I need you to do something for me if you're listening, okay? I'm about to send you a phone number. This is Matt's phone number. And just go inside. I'm going to send it to you as an instant message. It's coming right now. Uh, I would like you to call Matt on the phone 
and I would like you to uh, to get him front and center here, okay? I just sent it to you. We're going to call Matt right now. This is pathetic. Hopefully we'll reach him. But in the meantime, while Dean attempts to reach Matt on the telephone, let me just say this. This is an example of, I don't know his age, but I'll tell him if I get him on the phone. This is an example of people who are too immature to be in a relationship. It's what I talk about all the time. They are too immature. By the way, when you break up with somebody, of course they're going to have sex with other people. But Matt, what planet are you on? You broke up. And two weeks later, she dated the guy and had sex with him twice. Two weeks later. We got him on the line here? Let me get him on the line here. Matt, how old are you? I'm 23. Yeah, figures. <laughs> Just going through a lot of crap right now. Well, you're going through a lot of crap, son, because you are too immature to be in a serious relationship. Yeah. And uh, yet you continue to do it. And uh, I p presume, because you sent me an email, that you've been a listener for a period of time. Actually, my friends, uh, kind of like the, the listener that called in yesterday, my friends are like, you need to call this guy Tom Like He'll set you straight. And I started listening to you yesterday. I was like, this guy's kind of genius. <laughs> so well, I think I want to hear what he has to say to me. <laughs> yeah, well, Matt, the, the thing is, I'm not going to say what you want to hear. I, I know that, and I probably need it. <laughs> what, what are you, can, can this ever pan out and be a lifelong relationship? Are you kidding me? I don't know. <laughs> Why do you want a lifelong relationship? You're 23 years old. Like everything in the beginning seemed like so. 23 you know. years old, and now you got the, the cooties. What kind of uh, STDs did you catch? I didn't catch one. I'm just worried that there's a possibility because of what she did, you know? Why are you having unprotected sex? Uh, it feels better. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you if this would feel good, okay? How about paying child support payments for 216 straight months? That would, really doesn't would, sound so great. <laughs> well, guess what? For 30 seconds of ejaculation, that's what you could end up having to pay. Well, I just got her the uh, Plan B pill yesterday. so. Hopefully but that's not the point. You can't be always taking the Plan B pill. You've got to use condoms. You're right. You're right. I don't know, man. I just, I really, I'm really like, you know, we just drove up to my, my parents' house in Sacramento and she's with me and, Ugh. you know, I'm just trying to make things like work, you know? Why? She just doesn't feel like. Why are you doing this? I, I don't know. Like, she just doesn't feel, I don't feel like she's into me like she used to be. But the, the point is, what, why do you care? Because it used to be so good and like, you know, you I You broke to... up. Yeah. You broke up. Why did you break up? Uh, because, like, a lot of stuff was happening in the beginning of our relationship, like, you know, about dishonesty, about little things. And Why just, did you break up? Because I wasn't feeling it the way that I used to feel it. So it was your idea to break up? I just felt like, you know, maybe somebody else out there was going to treat me like I needed to be treated. So why didn't you date someone else? Who's coaching I, you back there? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep her at bay right now. Oh, she's there. She's there right now. Oh. I see. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I'm like, I'm walking down the street, so she can't really hear what I'm saying. Yeah. It's probably <laughs> a good idea. So, but anyways, it just, it just seemed like, it seemed like somebody else out there was going to treat me the way that I, I needed to be treated. So why didn't you go out and be with somebody else? I don't know. I just, I had, I had like a lot of self-worth issues and I didn't feel like anybody else wanted me. Oh, you're a little boy. You're a little <laughs> boy. Yeah. Matt. Matt, why would you want to, by the way, do you think she wouldn't have a baby? Uh, she says that she doesn't want one right now. They all say that. Yeah. Do you think she wouldn't? Well, when we were broke up, she called me up and she's like, I think I'm pregnant, and I found out later that it was probably because she was afraid she was pregnant with this other guy's child. <laughs> yeah, what kind of birth control does she use? We had her on DEPA for a while, but she, um, she, we went off it because she was kind of crazy on it. So the uh, answer is none. That's right. That's good, Matt. Good thinking. So yeah, uh, what, what college do you have a degree from, Matt? Uh, school of Hard Knocks. 
I was. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I'm actually very smart. I do run my own business, and I do do make my own way. What are you a crack dealer? Uh, uh, probably the same thing. I'm a graphics designer. Mm, yeah, the crack dealers make more than you do. <laughs> yeah, probably sadly true. Right. So, in other words, you really don't care what happens in the future. You're not concerned. You clearly think nothing uh, good is going to happen to you. So you're not really concerned about whether you get an STD or whether she gets pregnant. You don't care. I do care, but that's why. No, I... you don't. Yeah, I do. But that's no. Why got the Plan B pill. Yesterday. Forget the Plan B pill. <laughs> if, if, if you had a, a sore on your schlong, it, that's not going to help you. Yeah, you're right. I'm just, uh, I want to believe things can go back to the way that they used to be. Well, well I'd like to believe that Santa Claus is coming down my chimney on December 24th. I like to believe that. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, no, I'm just uh, like I, 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 I honestly do not know what to do at this point. Yeah, you do. do you just won't do it. But why is that? Why? Why can't I? You know, because you're a little boy. You're immature. Uh, she's probably a hot piece of ass, or good in the sack, or both. And uh, she's the first hot piece of ass you've had. And so you're quote unquote in love, which you're really not. Yeah. Right. I believe that I am, but probably. Yeah, but, right. but she's probably the first hot piece of ass you ever had. Not true. Hottest piece of ass you've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> right. And so, therefore, you've convinced yourself you're in love when you're not. You're in lust. And now the sex is even that good anymore. You're right. Right. And right. you're still having unprotected sex. And let me tell you something. If she wants to make this relationship work and you're dubious about it, I guarantee you she's going to get pregnant. Yeah. Let me give you an example, son. She went off the depot. Why isn't she on another form of birth control? We were using condoms for the longest time. Why'd you stop? I don't know. Like we, I mean, Pal, we you're them. the one. You're the one who buys them, and you're the one who slips them on. Why did you stop? Uh, I, really, it's just kind of been like this past week that we stopped, and it was because I was like, I I got drunk one night, and I made a stupid decision, and then you know we were planning again the plan B pill since it was like seventy two hours later. So it was like you know just kind of been whatever and stupid. I guess. Watch your mouth. You're on the air. All right. <laughs> so that's that's where I've been. Right. And you think this is good? You're you're like a little puppy dog over there. Isn't this wonderful? No, it's not. I just don't know. I don't know how to end it. I don't know how to like leave her. You did I, it already. When I did it, when I did it, I was miserable and I got drunk every night because I, you're a little boy who has no game, no game. Okay, so if I'm this little boy with no game, then what's the solution to my problem? <laughs> you, you need to step up your game, and you need to go out and beat other chicks and get laid. Yeah. And by the way, that doesn't happen overnight. No. It doesn't. It, doesn't. it takes time. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It, uh, there is some rejection involved. <laughs> some women are just going to say no. Yeah. Someone, well, gonna, you might, if you haven't gotten your face slapped, you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> I'm not a bad looking guy. When I, I did go out the other night, and there there were girls talking to me. Yeah, well, how come you didn't have sex with any of them? <sighs> One really wanted to, really bad, and why didn't I? Well, because you know she called me, and <laughs> I I was stupid and picked up the phone, <laughs> oh. and I. And then the next hour arguing with her, because that's all we seem to do is just argue. Well, another reason you don't want to be in this relationship. Yeah. Why do you want that? Because of the beginning of the relationship, it seems like oh, it was yeah, well, nine. But again, you were a child. Yeah. As I always say, when I was 10, I wanted to drive a fire truck. <laughs> because I thought it would be great. Yeah. Would it be great? Yeah. No, no. Would it be great? Would it be great, too? I'm sorry. If I drove a fire truck at 10 years old, would that have been great for the people in the neighborhood? Probably not. <laughs> but I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought it was great. Not at 10. That would be a bad so idea. So the fact that you thought it was great when you're so young and immature doesn't mean it was great. Does it? <sighs> Uh. 
Did she catch up to you? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Tell her to shut up. You're on the air. I'm telling her I'm on the air right now. Tell her to because shut she, up. You're the on the air. Thing, the, shut up. I'm on the air. The only thing they know about us right now is <sighs> she didn't like that. <laughs> I don't care. Ow. Tell her you don't care what she likes. What's that? Tell her you don't care what she likes. Right now, I don't care what you like. I'm just talking on the radio, and nobody knows anything but my name right now, so it's not that big of a deal. <sighs> and this is what your life is like now all the time, right? Controlled. <laughs> and you love it. You, you're asking me, can we make this a lifelong relationship? You want this for life. I want to believe that it can get better. I don't. <laughs> can I tell you something, Matt? Relationships are the best they ever are the first six months. Yeah. After that, they go downhill. Yeah. Or stay the that. same at best. Yeah. They don't get better. So there is there such thing as a happy marriage? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Well, whether there is or there isn't, if this is how it is now, getting married isn't going to make it better. Yeah. Yeah. We, we I talked to her about that. I was like, it's just going to compound the problems that we did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so... All right, you hang on here, Matt, because uh, all your brethren are out there. They want to talk to you. Yeah. And they're going to tell you what they think. All right. And you're going to have to hear it from the other guys who listen to this show. All right. All right, hang on there. All right, if you'd like to talk to Matt, now's the time to dial in. Tom Likas. Really? 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. Hello. 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 Three hello limit. Thank you for calling. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. I am your host. At 1-800-5800-TOM. All right. <laughs> you can hear Matt. Now your calls at 1-800-5800-TOM. Are you ready, Matt? Back in the ring. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Let's say hello here to, uh, oh, my goodness, JV on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, no, punk. Oh, how you doing, Tom? Hi, right, JV. <laughs> anyway, dude, what, what kind of punk are you, dude? I mean, did your mom didn't hug you enough? Uh, no, I think she hugged what me too it? much. That's a problem. <laughs> Here, this is what I, this is what I'm going to tell you, and this is what you got to do. Uh, if you go to a restaurant, the service is bad. You don't go there no more. Yeah. Obviously, the service is bad now. So what you do? Do it porno style. Finish porno style. Take a picture and move on. <laughs> you need to have these chicks, these chicks on rotation. If you don't have them on rotation, dude, that's exactly what's going to happen. The same predicament you're in right now. Yeah. Drop yeah. it, man. Leave your panties, man. Put some boxers and get to the bars, man. <laughs> and do not forget condoms. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that, dude. Because no I... chick is worth your health, man. Nobody's worth your health. Your you're body's right. a temple. Not to mention the fact that 216 monthly payments. Exactly. That's... There you go. That's really scary. <laughs> you know, you're I have friends, right. man. There were punks. You know what I mean? They started listening to Tom. They're like, dude. I mean, excuse me. They're like, dude, I mean, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. They have a rotation. I have a fiancé and two girlfriends. Huh? No, you're like, right. Yeah, you, know what, you know what, though? It, like, I, I listened to Tom just all day yesterday, and it, like, opened my it's eyes. Not, so you have to more. do it. Listening doesn't do anything. You have to do it. You have to do it. You're right. Stop being a punk. Do it porno style. Finish porno style. Take a <laughs> picture and move on. How about girls? What do girls have to say? <laughs> yeah. You know? But anyway, we got girls here. Oh, you want girls? That's JV. Thank you. Let's get a girl you, on the dude. air. Let's get Angela on here. Angela, what did you want to say to Matt? Yes, Matt. She's done with you. You need to just put on your big boy boots and get rid of her. She's going to get pregnant, and you know that she is not going to have an abortion or anything like that. Most women will not. You're only 23 years old, man. You need to get out there to the bars and play. Yeah. Ugh. Man, it's just something that I don't want to believe, but... Uh, Seriously, dude, she's done with you. She's already went and done somebody else. She's not. She's just hanging on because you're nice. <sighs> you know, and I think I've been too nice. I've been, I've been, I've been really kind of rolling over just to show her how much like I wanted to make it work. You know, 
Exactly. Okay. She's following you down the road because you're talking on the radio. I mean, get a grip. Come on. Do you think she's going to get any less controlling? Yeah. Yeah, she just told me that she wants to fly home now and, like, she's done with me. And Okay, before. good riddance. Bye-bye. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Very good. Sounds like progress. We like this. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right, is that all it took for her to leave you? Boy, what a relationship. No, 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 no it's not. It, it, she left, but she didn't leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just uh, it's one, so one she, round after the other. So she threatens to leave you and then does it. That's great. Yeah, that's just real nice for your emotions and everything else, dude. You just need to get rid of her. She's just you know, re she's wreaking too much havoc. Yeah. Hi, Angela. Thank you for that. Thank you. Dave on the Tom Likas Show for Matt. Hello. What's up, Dave? Hey there, Matt. Hey, Dave. Doesn't sound like you're doing too hot right now. <laughs> kind of in a bad place, dude. <laughs> well, Matt, I'm not going to help you out on this, but I will help you out. Question for you. When you, this this girl, how long have you been dating her? Uh, we're two years. Two years. And you love her, right? Of course, yeah. Okay. When you picture this girl in your head, mm -hmm. and she's with this other guy that she hooked up with. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> how does that make you feel? Uh, it's just gut-wrenching. <laughs> it's horrible. It's just like, you know. By the way, I'm... that sex was so good, she did it twice in one night. Yeah. That's right. She went back for more. I mean, don't, don't just picture her with him. Picture her really enjoying it. How does that make you feel? It is, dude, it's like like a, a knife to my belly. <laughs> really. Knife that's to the heart. Your future. Like that yeah. you don't get some balls, dude. That's your future. Can you really stay with this girl? Because you can't change the fact that that happened. So that's going to be in your head. And right. unless you adapt some other philosophy and move on and get some balls, you're stuck with that. That's your did, future. Did, did did we read the whole email before he called me? Or what yes. Okay. He read the whole thing to us. Okay. Okay. So so basically, you know that I'm not entirely interested in this whole thing, too, right? <laughs> I mean, no, I understand that you went and, and did what you had to do to try. By the way, you that. are innocent because you had sex with somebody while you were broken up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. This girl by the way, you by the way, your on. girlfriend was broken up also when she had sex with this guy. You're right. You're right. And that's why it's like, it's technically okay, but it still feels like... It's not technically okay. It's 100% okay. It doesn't make you feel any better, though. Yeah, you're right. It makes it, it still feels like cheating. <laughs> it still feels like cheating. Still, you know I mean, it still is going to rip you up. If you didn't want her having sex with other people, you shouldn't have broken up with her. It does, but I'm talking about their future. I mean, what future do they have now that it's happened? I mean, they yeah. were together two years, and then she went. You heard her in the background, Dave. Do you want to be with her? You want to be with somebody <laughs> like that? No, but I got to tell you, Matt is a nice guy. Matt, be a nice guy to your guy friends. You're too nice to girls, and that's why you, in your email, you said that you wanted her to worship the ground that you walk on. You yeah. cannot let a girl jerk you around. You cannot let her jerk your emotions around. You have got to be tougher with girls, man. You you cannot let them do this to you. If you're in a relationship where your emotions are getting tugged around by a girl, yeah, that's how it was on. for 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 ten for for ten months the last ten months of our relationship right before we broke up I was totally the man she always followed what I said it didn't matter if we wanted sex it was like on my time you know it was it was always me me it was like it and that's kind of like you know how I I'm not I'm not like you know uh, sexist for that matter or anything like that but I just feel like I felt like it, it you know the order was right I mean and when she wanted it too you know of course you know I I I did it with her too but the thing was it felt like the ball was more in my court and then when I started feeling resentment over what had happened from before it was like I I I felt like somebody else out there would treat me better maybe we should take a break you know just see other people briefly see what else is out there and you know I I didn't really ever picture just totally removing her out of my life, I guess. And that was the problem when I found out what happened. Well, if you want her to worship the ground that you walk on, you got to end this thing. you got to leave her, and you got to just let her come over and do what she needs to do every now and then and then get rid of her. I mean, you don't need her anymore as a girlfriend. That's not going to work. But if you just want to hook up, Tom probably wouldn't agree with me. He'll say move on. To the next <laughs> of course, move on. Yeah, it's, it's a, try out some other, uh, some other candidates here. What are we doing? <laughs> Dave, Tom, thank you. Me end it. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you to end it. I'm, you're not hearing me. Uh, yeah. Dina on the Tom Likas show for Matt. Hello. Oh, darling, what are you doing? At 23, you should be having fun with your friends and going out and partying. 
And now she's got the upper hand, and she always will, because you've made yourself seem like a chump. Right. And she knows that. She knows. She's like, oh, I've got a little puppy dog. I've got a chump. Right. So you will never have the upper hand in this. Take it from me. I'm female. I'm older, 33. She's got that. She's got you on a string. Yeah. No wonder she wants to get married. She's like, how else can I manipulate this guy? <laughs> How many more times can I say to somebody else? Well, it's. I mean, you were broken up. Like, get serious. I mean, you should have no, been I'm doing not. the same thing. You should have been. And I did. You should have been trying. How do you know that you can't find someone else? How long were you really broken up? It was like a month. <laughs> and that's what. A yeah. month. So in a month, you deemed yourself not worthy of anyone. Uh, I just felt like I had a different connection with her than I had with anybody else, I guess. Oh, well, in a month, yeah. I mean, connection. Yeah. You should be out having fun with your friends, partying. I mean, you should, people shouldn't even think about it, especially men, no offense, yeah. until they're over 30. Right. These, these are your years. So you marry right. this girl and 25, 26, you have a kid. And you have all this excess baggage, and then you're going to try to look for another connection? Yeah. With someone, think about that. And believe yeah. me, she is trying to get pregnant. Thanks and so. if she's talking about marriage, oh, we should get married, oh, things will be so much better, trap. Scary. <laughs> Very scary. No, but not, yes. not scary enough to leave, is it, Matt? Uh, oh, my God. I would be out of there. I mean, yeah. and now she doesn't respect you. You're right. Not at all. So how can you be with someone who doesn't respect you? Because you I'll really... tell you why, Dina, because Matt doesn't respect himself. Exactly. I mean, you've already said, I don't feel I'm worthy. Well, why would you let someone else determine your worth? That's a completely valid point. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Yeah, I well. mean, because you need, I mean, oh, my God. I did what I was supposed to do in my 20s, out with my friends, partying. And I can look back now and say, okay, I had fun. I wasn't tied down. I never had a kid. I never trapped anyone. Right. And, and Matt, you've been that is. Ever since you're 21. Uh, Matt, this is what you should be doing. Tom Likis. 1 800 5800 866. How are you? Tom Likis. 1 800 5800. Tom. Irma on a car phone. Hello. Mm, very good. She's listening to a musician. Irma. Yes. Get the radio cranking. <laughs> What's up, Irma? Why are you laughing at me? Oh, you got no, the radio no. turned up again. Turn it off! It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. And we are talking here with a listener named Matt. That's email. Talks about his girlfriend and he breaking up last month. Thought I was girlfriend dated a guy and had sex with him twice. Then when she found out he was cheating on his girlfriend back in Delaware, she came back to Matt. And then she lied and she said she didn't have sex with him. But he later found out she did and it was unprotected. And then she came back and slept with Matt without protection. Without telling him, putting him at risk for STDs. Meanwhile, to get back at her, he slept with someone else to level the playing field. They fight like crazy, but they're back together and they love each other and they're trying to make it work. But he says he feels like the interest she had in him before is not as much as it was. He wants to know how to get his balls back and get her to worship the ground he walks on. He wants to know if this can ever be a lifelong relationship. But what happens after you've screwed other people? Is it too late to come back? That's what Matt wants to know. We're taking your calls for Matt at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Wes on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Wes. Anyway, um, I want to ask Matt, how did he find out that she had sex with this guy? Did she tell him, or did he hear through the grapevine? Uh, actually, I found it through MySpace. Yeah. MySpace? Oh, and she has a MySpace page, oh, too. Man. Get rid of that bitch and get going. I mean, I, I'm i on my third divorce right now. 
You're on so, your third divorce. That doesn't sound like yeah. things are going. <laughs> seems like things are going a little bit worse I, I for you made than every they mistake, me. I made every mistake Tom has said. Yeah. Every mistake. And you think I learned? Well, this time I'm doing what Tom's doing. I'm staying single. But the fact is, if she, if she, if you had to go on MySpace to find out about it, I mean, what other secrets is she going to keep and hide from you and down the road? I mean, did you tell her? That you went out and slept with somebody else, or did she find it on the she, nice too? She's she's actually right here, right now, in front of me, telling me that we're finished. <laughs> well, good. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, but it, it, was, it was done before. Very nice. It, it was control and power the whole way around, man. If this is what it took. <laughs> good luck, man. Take care yeah. of yourself, Tom. Thank you, and I'll talk Hold to you. Hold on, Tom. Tom, she she actually wants to speak. Do you want to talk to her? What is her name? Talia. What is it? Talia. Talia. Yes. Yeah, sh- but put Talia on the phone. Hang on. Hello. Yeah, you got a problem? I do have a little bit of a one. Well, what are you gonna tell? Should I make an appointment with my secretary? We can get together and talk about it. No, when do you plan to start saying? That. It's not that. I just think it's awful how he can say one thing to me one week and then he gets on this radio show and he's telling us. Story, like, well, first of all, first of all, first of all, sweetheart, uh, you're on the air, and you can't use language like that on the air. You understand? Do you understand? Whatever, Matt. And, uh, you, you, I, you understand also that the federal government will fine you $325,000 for making that kind of comment if it gets on the air. We don't bleep it. So you're going you're gonna to clean up your act. You can say what you like. You can be angry if you want to, but you're not going to curse on me. No, the I'm just upset because I can't take this anymore. Like, he acts like he does not do anything wrong. And, no, I do think that this is starting a whole crap load of drama. Like, I broke up with him, and I told him I won't bother him anymore. Oh, wait a minute. You broke up with him? Yeah. He told us he broke up with you. No. I oh. broke up with him the first time. And then that is when I wanted him out of my life. Wait, wait, wait. This is interesting. Tell us why you broke up with Now we're seeing what a pussy he really is. Tell us why you broke up with him. I'm so glad he put you on the phone. The honest to God truth, I came into this relationship a liar. And then I went through a seminar that really just changed my life. And I decided to become an honest person because I did not want to lose people in my life because that was a huge part. You were a liar? What kind of lying were you doing? Stupid stuff. Stupid. You were a compulsive liar, in other words? Yes. Did you see, you saw a therapist is what you did? No, we went through um, a seminar. A, and, a religious uh, seminar, let me guess. No, it's actually not. Who's giving seminars on lying? It's not that. It's about recognizing what type of traits in you that you want to change, and that's something I wanted to change. I see. So you've stopped lying. Yes, because now, I didn't want to lose him. I already was losing my brother. And, like, I mean, I was losing a lot of people that meant the world to me. And I did that for 10 months. I, like, just was totally, you know, being loyal, doing whatever. Not, I didn't have any friends. I bought a dog because I had no life in L.A. And I worked. And he would go away, you know, to Sacramento, do what he wanted. And then I'm, we... um stopped living together um, in January of this year, and I moved out um, to my own place. He moved to his own place. And you broke up with him. Why? I just want to get this straight. What was the reason? Basically, basically, we broke up because I told him, look, I know that you're bitter and you have been treating me this way for so long because you still haven't forgiven me from the beginning of our relationship, and I said it's just going to keep So, in going. other words, you were lying to him at the beginning of the relationship, and does that mean you were sleeping with other guys who lying about it? No. What were you lying about? Um, just, like, things to get attention if I didn't feel it. I've just been doing it my whole life with my mom, and I wanted attention. And what, what were you doing to him in the beginning that made him so upset? There's one big thing and the only thing that he's really upset about that I lied about. And I lied about having a kidney disease. And that was what? Yeah. You told him you had a kidney disease. Why would you tell him that? Because I wanted sympathy and that's who I was. 
I see. And he wants to make a long-term relationship out of this. Okay. All right, but you, you gave up lying, but according to him, and I'm reading this from his email now, he says that after you went out, uh, the two of you broke up, uh, you, he had sex with somebody, you had sex with somebody, but he says that you came back and lied and said that you didn't sleep with some guy, and, and later he found out that you did sleep with him. Is that true? Yeah. So you're my still lying. My roommates told me not to say anything because it was none of his business since we weren't together. All right. So, so, but thing is, you're still lying. You said you had been a, a, a liar right. and you became an Right. But, but and then, I understand. And I understand. And really, I don't expect anyone to believe me after that. And I don't. But my roommates and Matt, from what he says, he knows that that's the only thing I lied about because he said I, he knew that, you know, when I was honest about certain things. So really... I understand where you can be coming from and being like, well, you're still lying. You're a liar. Nothing changed about you. But, yeah, like, yes, I did lie about that. And you know what? I did not want to be with him. I, honest to God, did not want to be with him anymore. Well, who, who put a gun to your head to make you be with him? At that point, I did not want to be with him anymore. All right. So then why were you with him? That's why I broke up with him. You know, why, why do you come back to him and have sex with him without birth control, I might add? He's my best friend. I don't know. I don't want to lose him, and I love him a lot, and I know it sounds stupid to you, but... Why Why aren't you using birth control? It's not that I don't want to. I just haven't gone to the doctor yet. Yeah, but so what happens if you get pregnant? He would want me to have an abortion. I didn't ask what he wants. I said what would happen. Probably what he wanted. Probably, but you're not sure. Are you? No, because I don't agree with it. There you go. So you might actually have a baby. Turn around and tell him that. Oh, he knows. I already told him that. Oh, he does know that. He didn't tell that to me. No, Matt. He's telling me if it went past. And uh, so, in other words, you're not using birth control, not because you didn't get around to it, but, but, but you just told me if you got pregnant, you'd want to have the baby. That is why you're not using birth control, because you'd like to have a baby with him. Are you kidding me right now? No. You really think at 21, I want to be having a kid? Yes. I don't even want kids. You just said if you got pregnant, you don't believe in abortion. If I didn't, but I would probably give it up for adoption. Not even probably, I would give it up. But for why? Adoption. why not just use birth control? And I totally believe in that. No, no. Believing in something and doing it are two different things. Do you know the difference between thinking about doing something and actually doing it? Matt, this is make fun of me, Matt. I'm making fun of you? Yeah, that's what I feel like. I see. Merely because I'm telling the truth. You see, a liar like you would not be able to handle the truth when the truth a is coming right like at you. A liar like me. Oh, Except yes. I'm telling you. What are you telling me? I'm you tell, you, that I do you don't make... use birth control because you want to have a baby. If you don't want to have a baby, you will get birth control tomorrow. Okay, has Matt told you that I don't want to have sex unprotected? Has he told you that I don't really want to have sex lately because I'm not on birth control? But, but you have had that? sex with him unprotected. You have done it. Because my sex libido has gone down, too. I don't care. You have had sex whether you he wanted it or you not. You he have had sex you. with him whether you wanted to or not, didn't you? Right? Am I making fun of you now? Yeah, you got nothing to say because you know I'm right. No, it's just that I guess this is how you keep your job. I keep my job by telling the truth, something you have been proving not to be able to do. You know, you're, you're just full of crap, and I would never tolerate this stuff from somebody I was dating. Never. And uh, the two of you are screwed up, and I really think you either deserve each other or the two of you should get as far from each other as you possibly can. The Tom Likas Show.